Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial, um, sort of uh, painting demo. Uh, today I'm going to be painting St Michael's Mount, a uh, little place in Cornwall, well, a beautiful place in Cornwall, just off the coast near Penzance. Um, so let's just jump straight in and uh, paint it. Start by spraying the, uh, the paper with some water, just to dampen it slightly. I'm going to go for a bit of a cloudy sky today, a bit of cerulean blue. bit of ultramarine just to get things kick things off a bit I'm just using the brush to soften the edges bringing some clouds in from the top mix out with some blue that's just raw umber raw umber and um, Rumba and ultramarine. God, my memory's getting dreadful. I need to get it checked out. And just keep the paint moving. St. Michael's Mount's going to be quite silhouetted against the uh, against the sky. So we can just bring that down and then just as I come down here I want to start warming things up a bit so I'm just using a bit of raw sienna. I didn't need to pick up that magenta and that is such a strong colour that is I could just scrub it out as an accident you see but hey you know these accidents sometimes work in your favour and I quite like it now so just I quite like the way that's there's lots of green hedging around the mountain. So we'll just drop that in. And we're going to use our little accident to uh, to our favour a little bit. Let's put some clouds in there. But just to add a little bit more drama. Okay. Now there's some grass here that's quite sunlit. I'm just going to put that in. You've got to remember your colours will dry an awful lot lighter than they appear. So now I'm just putting some raw sienna in with some of that lovely magenta I just picked up by mistake because this is quite warm through here. And I'm just going to lay a wash down and pick up the colours. The few little roofs I want, little white areas I want to preserve. So just try and do my best to do that. Because this is our first wash and then we'll be going back in a while to uh, just tighten things up a little bit. But at this time I'm just blocking things in but leaving a little a few little white highlights just how just so we can um, we've got a sea through here beautiful sea and that's quite bright down there so we're going to just warm that up Take the key down there. Oh, I spoke funny then. Okay, a little bit of nice water just in there that's really well lit up. Okay, so now I want to start getting this moving a bit down here because there's some nice water in here, but it's gonna try and get a bit of it's kind of gray it's kind of reflecting the right you 
this is kind of rocks through here. And I'll wait for that to dry a minute. And there's some rocks back here. I want to get these in. They're quite dark. But I don't want it too brown. I want to mix some blue with it. And some green. When you actually start looking, you see lots of colours. You think, well, you've got to get those in. If you, if you don't, you're not getting the best out of the scene. sand through here so it's quite so you have to work quite quickly and you've got to kind of there's some water reflecting back in the sky and pools down here if I'm not careful I'm going to miss it Paper's drying quickly because it's warm in here today. Put some mauves in there. Take that down. If in doubt, put some purples in, I always think. sandbar there. See, it's important in this first wash it's important to get down as much as you can you save yourself an awful lot of work later on if you can go back into this area now if you can get these uh, get as much information down as you can now later you'll save yourself heaps of work I'll just go back into this area that's like drying now just to put some of these darks in there's a dark through there you've got to make sure though that the paint's not too wet that you're putting down which you'll get awful like I've just done almost there so you've got to know when to leave it alone I often don't. But it's all about keeping it fresh. Not, you know, try and keep it as fresh as you can. And the brush workers. There we go. We'll just let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll tighten everything up. Okay then the washes have dried. Now I'm just going to use a bit of light red with some ultramarine to start filling in around the uh, the mounts. And I just want that kind of silhouetted, that's what I've got to be mind. Um, so let's just, just using a flat quarter inch brush for this bit. And I want to keep it. Paper's still damp down here, I should have waited a bit. Hmm. What am I doing? Da, da, da. That's got a little point on it. You can see we're just blocking in that the top of the mount. What I'll do, just warm it up a bit in places. 
So we're going to add a little bit more red to the mix of the uh, light red. Just as we move over. That's fine. I don't want to introduce too many colours because then it starts looking a bit but we'll just leave it like that. Now I'm going to work my way down the hill paper's still wet really should have, well damp it's workable but Uh, could have done with a fraction longer. To dry another 10 minutes. But it's okay, it's, it's all it's all workable. Right, I'm going to switch brushes now. I want to have a round brush. Going to use my little uh, isobay brush. Just give it a wash. And what I want to start doing now is start adding some lemon yellow to that wash. So it's going to be ultramarine, some lemon yellow, and some light red just to grey it out slightly. So And basically where I see the trees now, just start adding in the green, a sort of dark neutral. And where I can see broken edges, like there's a tree up here on this edge, I want to get the, get, get the sky holes in. But they're really important. Drop some colour back in there. Now, as I come down towards the buildings, it becomes even greener. So, there's a few little trees there which I'm going to leave. Just seen something I don't like. Just want to bring this out more. It's too symmetrical with the other side. It looked wrong. It's looking better now. So we just. Some more lemon yellow because there's some lights hitting the trees down here. We want to get that in. Okay. And there's just some that's pretty good so now really what I'm going to do now is just let that dry because I don't know if you can see on the camera but that ultramarine and light red has given me a lovely grainy lovely grainy shadows it's really nice. Come down to this cottage here. 
we'll just go around it. And we'll come once that's dry. We'll come back, revisit that, and we'll just we'll start adding the darks down through there. Okay. Um, now I'm just going to start using some raw sienna, a touch of light red. No, sorry, uh, raw sienna, a touch of cad red, and some ultramarine blue, just to make a nice grey, warmy colour. Variations in that mix, just to start adding the detail around this part. So I've splattered there doesn't matter right so basically I want to sharpen that up Let's put that there. I can do with a smaller, a smaller brush, a smaller flat brush. Something I need to look into getting. So it's just a question now of getting this sort of. The little bits of suggested detail in. Without making it look too confusing. There's little boats on the beach here. And there's little splashes of colour. I'll put those on the bit. The bits of colour. There's a house here. Sometimes you can have too much paint on your brush when you go to paint something small and then you get this horrible blobbing effect of the paint. You don't really want that. <coughs> Excuse me. I have to go back to my flat brush now. I'm just going to make sure I get this in the right place. There's a wall that travels down. So I'm just filling it basically, filling it in with my flat brush. Travels down there. You know, and I'm not slavishly, you know, we're after an impression of the scene. You know, if I, uh, I've said this many times, if I wanted something that was completely 100% faithful to or accurate, I would just take a picture with the camera. You know, the half the fun of painting is just the, um, you know, just taking the, it's just having fun. If you make it into like an, ex, an exercise of measuring everything, then you lose the uh, enjoyment of painting. In my opinion. And that's all it is. Now, really, it's just looking, and just I'm just sort of squinting at the page and seeing the darks and popping them in. I'm not trying to create too many confusing areas. Right, see, that's confusing me. 
sometimes if you, if you don't prepare yourself for areas when you when you put your first washes in you only make work for yourself um, so it's worth spending some time getting everything pretty much as it should be no, first time luckily that's still wet I can just alter that but uh, 